You've no doubt seen the phenomenal leaps and bounds that apps like ChatGPT, DALI and Midjourney have made in the last few weeks and months. It's already started to disrupt our everyday lives. Universities are now using defensive apps to detect if essays are solely written by ChatGPT, or artists justifiably up in arms about their art being used without consent to train a program to generate any image you can want in any style, though with admittedly varying results. Does this mean that the robots are going to be taking all of our jobs? Is there a reason we shouldn't let them have the jobs? Don't we all complain about having to work and toil in dead-end jobs? AI as it currently stands still has a lot to be desired when compared to a human being. This current wane of apps have very impressive capabilities providing amazing facsimiles of intelligence, but are they really true artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are designed to think and work like humans. AI has been around for a long time and introduces a variety of technologies such as expert systems, natural language processing, robotics and more. The ultimate goal of AI is to create machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence such as understanding natural language ChatGPT, recognizing images DALI and Midjourney, solving complex problems and making decisions. Machine learning, on the other hand, is a subset of AI that is concerned with the development of algorithms and statistical models that computers use to perform a specific task without being explicitly programmed to do so. In other words, machine learning algorithms learn from data and identify patterns and can make predictions or decisions without being explicitly told how to do so. To put it simply, AI is the larger umbrella under which machine learning falls. Machine learning is a tool that is used to achieve AI. When stacked against a fully autonomous person with a rich history and concepts of emotions, contextual awareness, spatial awareness, and agency, it's hardly a fair comparison, especially to the current apps. Automation is coming along rapidly though, and there is no area that it won't be applicable in some aspect or another. The app that has made the biggest splash recently is possibly ChatGPT, which has a highly sophisticated linguistics model. I asked ChatGPT itself if it is real artificial intelligence. Its response is, Yes, ChatGPT is an example of artificial intelligence. Specifically, it is a language model developed by OpenAI which is a leading artificial intelligence research laboratory. ChatGPT is designed to simulate human-like conversational abilities by generating responses to user inputs based on a large dataset of text. While it is not conscious or self-aware like a human being, it is capable of understanding and responding to natural language inputs, which is a hallmark of artificial intelligence. The insight and the amazing ability that ChatGPT shows to express high level concepts has been fairly frightening and uh, is a complete step above any other chatbot that we have ever seen before. However, ChatGPT doesn't have a real understanding of its responses. I put this question to ChatGPT because there's a difference between knowing how to produce something and knowing the reason why you're producing something. Uh, if you've ever taught a little kid any <laughs> sentence or joke the kid can reproduce the joke it may even be able to change up some of the words in the joke to make a joke that is similar but a lot of the times they don't understand why the joke is funny in the first place and ChatGPT kind of falls into a very similar thing where I asked ChatGPT does it have a real understanding of its responses or is it just giving us a, a facsimile of what is expected given the context of the question. And ChatGPT's response is... ChatGPT does not have a real understanding of its responses. Instead, it generates responses based on statistical patterns it has learned from the massive amount of text it has been trained on. ChatGPT's responses are generated by a complex neural network that analyzes the input text and generates a probabilistic distribution of likely responses. The response with the highest probability is then selected and outputted to the user. While ChatGPT's responses may seem natural and even insightful, it does not truly understand the meaning behind the words it is generating. 
Instead, it is generating a facsimile of what is expected given the context of the question being answered, based on the patterns it has learned from its training data. So in its current generations, ChatGPT has no fundamental understanding of what it's actually saying. I see there being a next evolution of these AI apps where the language models and the image generation and soon you know there is on the horizon video generation there's been a lot of demos of video generation but i'm not sure if there is any actual video generation models that you're able to play with currently i'm sure they're just around the corner there is music and sound libraries you can uh, generate people's voices uh, very easily which will you know lead us directly into the deep fake and misuse of AI however I do think that the next generation of AIs will be language models like ChatGPT and the like actually being plugged into uh, what I hope to see as some sort of like ethics and uh, actual understanding even if it is just basic understanding currently they have training wheels where chat gpt etc won't give you specific uh, answers to things because it strays too close to what could be deemed controversial there has already been issues with the bing chatbot which is based on chat gpt um, it has been having some issues uh, let's just leave it at that. So, in short, the AI robot overlords are not coming for our jobs just yet, unfortunately. We can't uh, just put up tools and hand over our jobs, uh, as mundane and annoying as they may be, to the robots just yet. The main concern now is that regulations and regulatory policies are probably going to be slow to catch up to this explosion of AI. We've seen in social media and how much that affects society at large now, The even though those are very much uh, manually created algorithms that can be changed on the fly, uh, the regulations have lagged far and far behind on that. There will be a period hopefully where there is a bit of wild west and a lot of research and development happens in AI but then hopefully there will kind of become an equilibrium where AI and uh, its impact is kind of evened out and people can start using these tools to you know be pro more productive and generate huge swaths of work the main thing that we then have to be careful of is the thing that usually happens when new tools come along now a few people can do the work of many many people so the workforce gets whittled down and a lot of people either have to reskill or uh, find a new job in a completely different area. Is society ready to actually tackle the issue of basically there not being enough jobs for the workforce and the, the population at large? as automation is only going to get more and more prevalent, especially when things like automatons and uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say androids, but you know, this, this stuff isn't that far off into the future. It'll be around before we know it. And so the kind of menial work uh, will in theory be done for us, uh, but is that only going to be for the top one percent or do we have to kind of rethink society at large and also we need to think off the back of that how does all of this automation and uh, artificial intelligence fit into our changing climate at the moment uh, chat gpt and those models consume an enormous amount of compute just to uh, run their most basic functions um, things that are even more advanced in the future will probably be factors more intensive and so there is also that side of the coin as to how do we make this environmentally sustainable how in society do we have a harmonious integration with artificial intelligence and still not lose our humanity along with it 
As always, thank you for taking the time to watch or listen to my thoughts. I'm keen to hear your thoughts in the comments or on social media. Remember to be charitable to others' ideas, embrace those you love, and enjoy the beauty of nature while we can. Cheers. Catch you in the next one.